As we head towards Emirates Melbourne Cup Day, we caught up with champion jockey Kieran McAvoy, his family and his old mate Brew, who he won the 2000 Melbourne Cup on. Well, Kieran, great to catch up with you today at Living Legends. Well, you paid your old mate Brew a visit. Yeah, it's good to see him out here and um, bring the boys out to have a look and um, meet the old boy for the first time. It's, uh, they, they took a bit of a liking to him for sure. Feeding him grass and uh, cheering for him, and <laughs> it was actually very cute. I mean, do, do the boys clearly they like the ponies and the horses? Yeah, they really started to have a, a bit of an affinity with uh, horses and watching the races and whatnot. So it's a bit scary to think we might have another jockey on our hands, but um, yeah, it's it's great to see them uh, getting amongst it and, and, and get some emotion out of them uh, when Dad wins the races. It's fantastic. Well, between the Payne family and the McAvoy family, surely one uh, has to end up in the saddle. Yeah, it's a bit scary to think about it, but um, yeah, we won't push them. We'll just um, let them enjoy their racing and, and see how it um, sort of goes forward from there. So, speaking of Brew, um, you were obviously the second um, youngest jockey to win the Melbourne Cup. You were 20 at the time. How did that change your life? Yeah, unbelievably. Um, you know, I owe a lot to Brew and to Michael Moroni and, um, and the team involved with the horse. Um, just really kick-started my career in, into the right direction and uh, I was only a week out of my apprenticeship at the time and, um, yeah, just opened up so many doors and, um, and, it, and it got me to where I am today. Without that win, I'd be, um, I'd be five steps further back, that's for sure. So, yeah, I owe a lot to the old boy Brew and, um, and I'll never forget that day when we crossed the line in front. How, how did you feel coming back to scale? Was it just a whirlwind? I mean, can you possibly describe that? Not really, no. It was, uh, um, I remember walking out of the races that day with um, David Hall and Brett Preble and um, Hawley goes, um, you know, your life will never be the same now. It's changed forever. And, um, yeah, it really, it, it took a good month or six weeks for, for it to settle down and, and I suppose sit back and reflect on what I'd been able to achieve. And, um, yeah, it was... Um, it was amazing to, to think now, it's, it's been 13 years since um, winning the race. It just shows you how much uh, of, a, of a tough race it is to win and um, I suppose that, um, that makes it, it, it's just like a, it's a, it's a real um, pinnacle of our racing here in Australia and, um, and, and you want to get back to that pinnacle and it's so bloody hard to get there. <laughs> do you get nervous? Like how do you treat Melbourne Cup Week? No, I just get excited really. Um, obviously, um, you know, you pre prepare and um, and try try to get yourself in good form and, and get fit and healthy um, leading into um, the big few weeks here in Melbourne and um, touch wood, everything's gone to plan so far. I had a nice few winners um, recently, so um, get uh, excited and, and revved up for the occasion. Get back on track, Victoria. The Spring Racing Carnival. It's time for some real entertainment. Visit springracingcarnival.com.au. You know you want to.